in advance. Sorry, I'm not very prepared for this. Very this disrespectful of your time. Welcome to my life. I barely prepare for any video. <laughs> What's up guys, this is Nick at Stradwise.com in Salt Lake City, Utah with the one and only Weston K of Rose Anvil. How's it going? Good, welcome to Utah again. Yes, thank you very much. I just found myself out here uh, in Salt Lake City because I was doing a trip to Denver, Colorado and I thought that uh, I would come by the Rose Anvil store which is the makers of very fine uh, camera harnesses wallets and YouTube videos about cutting footwear in half. That's right. That's it. Yes, mm -hmm. best place, the best one-stop shop for that. And we wanted to do a video about boot seconds, which is not the same thing as used boots, right. but it is something that we get a lot of questions about because naturally guys like us get a lot of questions about how to like save money on boots, right? Now, I actually have a, an article in the description below about like uh, 11 ways to save money on boots if you wanna check that out. But how to buy boots seconds is a particular way of getting footwear that, um, yeah, that a lot of people are curious about and that I hadn't heard about until I moved to the States. What do you think about buying boot seconds? The thing I like about buying seconds is I don't really care what my boots look like. I don't, I don't really care that they look brand new when I first get them because within a week, they're, they're wrecked anyway. So yeah. for me, I'm like, if there's a, a weird stitch or there might be a little bit of scratch here and there, I'd rather save a few dollars because it's just going to look that look like that in a week anyway. So well, let's, let's, I like them. Let's step back. What are boot seconds? Right. So boot seconds are factory seconds, which is basically as they're making the boots, you can't get every single boot 100% right every single time. So a lot of times, like I said, there's a little stitch missing here and there that's off a little bit or maybe part of it's delaminated or while they were trimming something, they, they scraped the leather that they can't sell as a brand new boot. So they classify them as seconds, sell them for a discounted price through various venues and avenues to sell cheaper boots. It's an interesting phenomenon because while some people hear that and go, great, I don't mind like a little bit of nicked leather on my boots. There are nonetheless things you need to look out for when buying boot <coughs> seconds because sometimes the problems are, are bigger right. than like a little scratch in the leather. So my first pair of Red Wing Iron Rangers, I got those on eBay and they were seconds and they just had like a little scratch on the vamp. No one can see it and they got like a hundred bucks off. It was really good. The main trick with seconds is that you seldom know what the actual problem right. is with the boot, which can be a bit anxiety inducing for some people. Basically, you have to be comfortable rolling the dice a little bit, but you should know a couple of things. The first is that typically, I mean, a, a company wouldn't sell something that's like, you know, missing an eyelet panel yeah. or something like that. Like it's, go it's still gonna be a wearable boot. Just aesthetically, it might have minor issues. Like typically they're not really deal breaking problems because at the end of the day it's red it's still a red wing boot yeah and red wings still wants whatever their seconds are to still represent the brand to some degree so they're not going to send you like you said a, a completely wrecked boot that's unwearable yeah the other thing is that they're often a blind buy right so we're going to tell you a bunch of places where you can buy these that uh, you can buy seconds on the internet and they're on the internet so you can't yeah. really try them on before you buy them or anything and so sometimes you can ask ahead ask for a picture of the boot itself yeah. and so you can give like a look over like that and sometimes you can ask them like what is the what is the defect itself so that off, often you can get that kind of feedback on it before you buy it which is fine the other thing to remember the last thing before we start talking about where you can buy seconds mm -hmm is that the a lot of the times you're buying seconds your warranty is going to be different it's going to be void a lot of the time not always but a lot of the time you can't return uh yeah. seconds that's another buy beware thing but if you like to live dangerously yeah and you want to save some money and you want to save some money and you're a gambling man here are not? yeah here are the best places to get boot seconds for those of you who aren't keen on just blind buying a pair of boots that you don't know what the defect is, there are places you can go to check them out in person. First is Nordstrom Rack, mostly known for carrying Red Wing, Fry, and Chippewa. And it's really nice just to be able to go in and see what actually is wrong with it and try it on, figure out the sizing. And they do have a pretty solid online presence too. So if you don't find anything in your specific store in your in your city, you can go online and see what they have there. And usually they're anywhere from 50 to 75% off. I've never found any there and I check out all the time, but I have seen them online. I just haven't ever pulled the trigger on them. I think a lot of people, if, if they've had Red Wing seconds, it's it's often from Nordstrom Rack. Yeah. I mean, that's also because they have a very, you know, very good website and yeah. a good amount of uh, Good amount of ranking there but they have pop-up stores yeah. uh kind of all over the country so we're in salt lake city now mm -hmm. and you say they, they come yeah, we've got we've got one up the road yeah okay. but i've never seen a red wing there 
I feel like you have to visit them frequently <laughs> you can, in order yeah. to find them. Like you can't just pop in there and, and find a, a plethora of Red Wings. You kind of have to do a little bit of th almost like thrift store shopping to get Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, this is the game with seconds if you want to mm -hmm. stay off online places to yeah. buy seconds, right? Because like seconds coming online is great and everyone has like way more access to it. If you'd rather do it in person, yeah, you have to think of it as like thrifting. Like, yeah. is it going to be in your size? Uh, is it going to be the brand you want or whatever? Maybe, maybe not. But like one interesting thing about Nordstrom Rack is like sometimes they get boots that aren't often available in the US so like they'll have like like for people who don't know there are like models in Japan and models in like Europe that I've like done videos about actually that aren't typically sold in the US so sometimes you can get some like rare gems like that that's cool but again if you are looking for an in-person seconds experience uh, expect disappointment and then you'll be happy when you're not disappointed but that's part of the fun too it's like <laughs> not knowing exactly what you're gonna find because that's what I like going to Nordstrom Rack mm. for is you just like maybe I'll find some Red Wings today we have a few other Real stores yep. where you can where you can uh, look for seconds. What's another one? Sierra Trading Post. Mm. We also have another one of those in Utah, and yep. I feel like I find more Red Wings there. And they also have an online store, but it's the same type of thing as Nordstrom Rack. You still have to kind of go there on occasion to see if you can find anything you want. Be able to see, try them on in person and see if you're okay with the flaws. Another cool thing about Sierra Trading Post is that uh, they carry plenty of brands that guys who like boots tend to like that aren't boot brands. So like Filson, uh, they'll often have like cheaper Filson products there. Patagonia as well, uh, a few stuff like that. So, and Blundstones. And Blundstones. People love their Blundstones. Well, that's an Australian brand. That's right. <laughs> Rest in peace, not made in Australia anymore. Ah, uh, that's right. Uh, unfortunate. Um, Sierra Trading Post is another good one. Um, Moose Jaw. Moose Jaw is another one. Moose Jaw, is that what it's called? It is, yes, it's Moose Jaw, yeah. <laughs> Um, Moose Jaws one, they're only available in like a, a handful of states, um, not not all of them. Moose Jaw does have a website, um, of course, uh, where you can go and check out stuff there as well. But we're talking about the physical locations, so it's Nordstrom Rack, Sierra Training Pros, and if you are in a few states, yeah. a handful of states, we'll put them on the screen here, then you, there, there should be a Moose Jaw outlet there that you can go and, uh, and check out there as well to, yeah. get, to get your seconds. All right, so that does it for the physical places to find your seconds. Uh, first up, for very good online places, what do you got? eBay. eBay. eBay is a good one because there's a ton of different companies selling all their factories, or not all of them, but a good amount of factory seconds on eBay. And a lot of times people will buy factory seconds and resell them on eBay. So there's a good amount of variety on there. Yeah. But you do have to be a little bit careful because sometimes they say they're factory seconds, but they're not real brands. They might be fakes. So you got to contact the seller, make sure they're actually factory seconds and, make, and just look into it. Do your due diligence to make sure you're not buying an old pair of boots or a fake pair of boots. Yeah, the good thing is that the way eBay is set up is that they are more likely to surface buyers with uh, with, a, with a good record, right? So a really easy way to make sure that you're getting good boots or a good product, the, the correct product is just to click on the buyer's name and look at their reviews and people will say, this is as described yeah. or this guy is a scammy shyster. <laughs> it's, it's, it's easier than you'd think to get to get quality stuff on eBay. And I myself have bought uh, two pairs of Red Wings seconds on eBay. So it could definitely happen, just uh, as Weston said, uh, check out the buyer first. Mm -hmm. And um, read the description, because sometimes you just, they'll, they're sneaky. They'll add little caveats into the, the <laughs> description and you just don't realize it. The next place uh, we wanted to bring up is Grailed, which is kind of like eBay, uh, for fancy things, fancier things. Yeah, um, fancy boys. Yeah, for fancy boys. <laughs> um, so on Grailed, uh, a lot of the higher end stuff, like you are unlikely to find like a, I don't know, Converse sneakers there, for example, but like nicer stuff, the kind of stuff that you'd be after if yeah. you like Gucci Welts and Boots, uh, that stuff is on Grailed. So go to Grailed. I've sold some stuff on Grailed myself. They're very exacting with their standards. They make you like take a million photos of it okay. so they can really thoroughly like vet you um, I sold, yeah, I sold a pair of sneakers on there. It's it's pretty legit. Check out the description to make sure that they're seconds as opposed to used right. footwear, if that if that matters to you. But like the, the the sellers are very heavily vetted on Grail, so you can you can trust that. Just there's the flip side of that is that there's not as much stuff, right. so you're less likely to find the stuff you want. Third, 6 p.m. It's a website that yes. I bought boots on. Did you? Yeah, and they're they're pretty cheap. I think out of any of these sites that we've talked about, they might have the worst boots on there. But if you search long enough and you go through it, you can find some pretty decent boots. And I feel like they're pretty heavily discounted on 6 p.m. Yeah, they're a, like a subsidiary of Zappos. Or oh, really? They're, they're somehow related to Zappos. Okay. Yeah, so that's probably Zappos was like, they're were, they were originally the Amazon of shoes. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, Amazon took over everything. I think 6 p.m. is like where their seconds wind okay. up. 
Um, we'll go with it. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll just spread some misinformation on the internet. 6 p.m., check them out as well. It's a good website. The last section that we wanted to talk about are, are brands that sell their own seconds. So that's, it's quite rare for that to happen, but some brands do. The best known one is probably Alan Edmonds, uh, who make really good quality footwear, mostly in the United States, and they sell their own seconds on the website. So you don't have to do any of this detective work or anything like that. You could just uh, go to their site and find it there. Uh, in the article in the description below, I've got links to all these places. Thargood has an online outlet thoroughgoodoutlet.com I think it is sometimes it's offline uh, they're, they're not the most digital forward <laughs> brand uh, thoroughgood but uh, yeah they were there they were they were offline for a little bit but they're usually online so thoroughgood is another one thoroughgoodoutlet.com they sell them there well I feel like a lot of the smaller brands they don't necessarily always have their seconds available but like Grant Stone occasionally maybe once or twice a year they do a factory second sale and a lot of those smaller brands do that you know they don't always advertise it but it's worth following them on social media if you're just you know occasionally looking for factory seconds just follow them and look for it's usually around the holidays I feel like or after the holidays yeah like like small brands they'll do something like uh, you know they'll get returns throughout the yeah. year for whatever reason and they'll just could have uh, let them pile up, yep. let them like reach a critical mass of all the seconds, yeah. and then they'll say, all right, let's like do a sale, mm -hmm. they'll blast it all out, and they'll, they'll all go. That's the reason to follow your favorite brands right. on, in, on social media. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, so that's our, that's our video, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. That's it. All right, cool. So we listed a few stores where you can go and get them uh, in real life, a few websites where it's easier, and uh, then some brands themselves that do it. What a fantastic video we've done. I know. All right, cool. Educating the world. There is an article in the description below uh, that has all this written out. You can check that out. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe to Roseanneville as well. Right. If you don't know this guy, uh, his actual name is Weston. That's right. We're just calling him Roseanneville. People call me Miss Rose in emails all the time. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic channel, uh, all about boot content. He cuts them open, he tears them to shreds, and uh, He's a he's a straight shooter. He gives you the straight dope. All right, cool. All right, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.